Hello and welcome. I'm Mrs. Cole and I have a little history lesson to start things off. Did you know that back in Jesus' time, the religious leaders liked to sit around and discuss the law? They especially liked to ask Jesus questions to see if they could trick him. So in today's gospel, they asked Jesus question after question. And of course, Jesus has answer after answer. Well, one of these religious leaders listens to the whole debate and thinks he can maybe come up with one really tricky question that would stump Jesus. Do you know what it was? Well, let's begin with a prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. God, our Father, help us to love you above all things. Help us to love others as we love ourselves. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Now, here we have a picture of these religious leaders and they're asking Jesus what the most important commandment is. They know that there are 10 commandments and so they try to trick him in, by asking which one of these is the most important, which one is the biggest that uh, matters the most. Well, Jesus has the perfect answer. He says that the most important, in other words, the great commandment, is to love God with our heart, our soul, our mind, and our strength. In other words, to love uh, God with our whole self. And then Jesus tells them what the next most important commandment is. And do you know what that is? Well, let's see what's in the Bible bag today and find out. Well, just to kick things off, we have the word commandment. Do you remember what a commandment is? It's a rule. We're going to be talking today about what Jesus tells us is the most important rule or commandment of all. So first, we have a heart. When you see a heart, what do you think of? Well, of course, you think of love. Jesus came here to show us just how much he loves us, and this heart reminds us that his most important message to us is to be loving. Now, Jesus said that the first and the most important commandment was that we must love God with all our heart and with our soul and our strength and our mind. In other words, with everything that we have. And then he reveals the second most important commandment, which is to love others as much as we love ourselves. Sometimes this is called the golden rule, which is to treat others the way that we'd want them to treat us. So Jesus tells us today that we are called to love God with our whole heart and to love one another just as much as we love ourselves. So how do we do that? Well, I bet you already know. We show our love uh, for each other by taking good care of each other and by doing good deeds, such as being helpful and sharing and being cooperative and being respectful. Now, do you like to play games? Does your family play any board games like Sorry or Monopoly or Pictionary or maybe you play Jacks? Does anyone play Jacks anymore? Or maybe you play card games like Crazy Eights, or maybe you play Old Maids, or maybe you play some sports like volleyball, or soccer, or tennis, or maybe you play golf. Now, what do all of these games have in common? Well, they all have rules. Rules of how you play the game. And your family probably has rules too, don't they? Like maybe no video games or TV until your homework is done, or clean up after yourself, or no fighting. Sometimes you might think that your life is made up of nothing but rules, and rules and more rules. And rules are important, aren't they? They help you stay safe and healthy and learn right from wrong so that you can have a happy life. What Jesus is reminding us of today is that the most important rule of all is about love. 
So if we follow those two great commandments, to love God with all your heart and to love others as much as yourself, then we probably wouldn't have any trouble keeping the rest of the rules either, would we? Because they all pretty much boil down to the same thing, which is to be loving and good to each other. Now here we have another picture that explains today's lesson. Jesus says, the greatest commandment? Well, it's simple, but not easy. It's one thing, but really two. In other words, love God and love your neighbor. And if you combine those two together, you have the one great commandment, which is to be loving. As he says, it's simple, but not easy, which is true, isn't it? Sometimes we're just tired or we really want our way, or we just don't really feel like going out of our way to be nice or to be helpful. But if we follow Jesus' great commandment by sharing our love for God and our love for each other, then we're following Jesus' example for us and also creating a little bit of heaven here on earth wherever we go. And speaking of Jesus, here he is. Let's hear today's story. Our reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. One of the teachers of the law of Moses came up while Jesus and the Sadducees were arguing. When he heard Jesus give a good answer, he asked him, what is the most important commandment? Jesus answered, the most important one says, people of Israel, you have only one Lord and God. You must love him with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. The second most important commandment says, love others as much as you love yourself. No other commandment is more important than these. This is the good news of the Lord. And that is our Bible story for today, where we learn that loving God and loving our neighbor, which means all the people that are around us, are the most important things that we do as Christians. So this week, how can you do that? What can you do to show your love for God and your neighbor? Well, to show that you love God, can you give thanks to him for all the blessings you have, all the wonderful things in your life? Can you go to Mass on Sunday and remember to pray every day? And at home, what can you do and at school to be more loving to your neighbor? Can you think of ways to be helpful to your friends, your teachers, uh, your parents, to make life easier for them by following the rules? Can you be extra nice to your brothers and your sisters and try to be a really good friend this week? Can you try to remember the golden rule, which is to treat people the way we'd like them to treat us? Remember, every time that we show our love for God and for one another, we are following Jesus one great commandment. So let's end with our prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God our Father, help us to love you above all things. Help us to love others as we love ourselves. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So until next week, be loving, be kind, and remember, Jesus loves you.